Searching the Vocational and Career Collection Database from the San Jacinto College Library. The Vocational and Career Collection Database is designed for vocational and technical libraries servicing high schools, community colleges, trade institutions, and the general public. This collection provides full-text coverage for more than 350 trade and industry-related periodicals. Use this database to find up-to-date information on issues in your chosen career. Using the database is easy, and once you're comfortable searching this database, you'll be able to search any of the library subscription databases provided by the EBSCO host company. The San Jacinto College Libraries subscribe to over 50 EBSCO host databases. All EBSCO databases have the same search interface, so in learning to search one, you're learning to search all 50. The first thing you need to do when learning to search in a library subscription database is to familiarize yourself with the search screen. Of course, the first thing you'll notice is the search box and the search button. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Take a look at the other search options available to you under the search box. Particularly take a look at the limit your results area of the search screen. Remember that not all articles in EBSCO databases are in full text. So, to make sure you only find articles that you can read entirely, be sure and always check the full text box before you search the database. Sometimes your professor will ask you to find scholarly, academic, or peer-reviewed information. In EBSCOhost databases, be sure and click the peer-reviewed box when this is the case. You won't need this type of information for your career project. You can also limit your search by date or number of pages in the article. Once you've made your choices in the Limit Your Results area of the search screen, enter your search terms in the search box. For your career assignment, I suggest entering the name of your career, the word AND, and the word career in the search box, like this. and click on search. The results of your search appear in the middle of the screen and are sorted by the most recent. Each search result record contains the title of the article, the author, the publication it originally appeared in, a link to the full text of the article, and an icon telling you what type of article it is, whether it came from a periodical or magazine, a newspaper, a reference book, or an academic journal. To the right of the title of the article, there's a tiny icon with a magnifying glass. Hover over this to see more information about the article without having to open the article. To the left of your search results, there are ways to refine your results. Look where it says Limit 2 and make sure your full text box is still checked. Sometimes it can get accidentally dropped for no apparent reason. Also, look at the range of publication dates for the articles you found. You can use the slider bar to narrow the date range to meet the requirements for your assignment. You can also limit your search by subject heading, publication title, publisher, and language by using the other pull-down menus to the left of your search results. Let's go back to your search results. I'm going to scan through the first 10 articles fairly quickly by hovering over the magnifying glass icon near each title. Well, this first article is about certification versus qualification. The second article is about continuous process improvement and strengthening career and technical education for the 21st century. The third one is an encyclopedia reference book entry about Frederick John Deltry Lugard, the first Baron Lugard. The fourth article is about a career fair in a classroom. And the fifth is at a news briefs related to technology, strengthening career and technical education for the 21st century act, which is um, addressed in the second article as well. So let's take a look at article number two about the Strengthening Career and Technical Education for the 21st Century Act, the Perkins Five, and requiring a continuous improvement process within programs of study and defines explicit professional development guidelines. To look at an article from your results list, click where it says PDF Full Text. 
or HTML full text. When the file, in this case a PDF file, loads, you'll be able to read the article and manipulate it in several ways. Once you're viewing the article, there's a very small tool palette on the right-hand side of the screen you need to be aware of. The tool palette will allow you to email the article to yourself and to cite the article in any one of a number of citation formats, including MLA and APA, which are commonly used in college writing. If you choose to email the article to yourself, click on the envelope icon to the right of the article and fill in your email address and a subject line. In the form, choose your citation format from the pull-down menu on the right and click Send. When the article arrives in your email, the article will be in a PDF attachment, but the citation to the article will be in the text of the email. Simply copy and paste the citation from your email into your Works Cited page and organize your Works Cited alphabetically by author's last name and your work cited is done with a minimum of effort. If you choose to print the article in citation, you'll have to retype the citation into your work cited page. Use the PDF print icon to print the text of the article and use the print button on the tool palette to print the citation. That is the quick and easy way to use the vocational and career collection database to search for information for your career project. San Jacinto College librarians are always willing to help. Just ask a librarian.